Okay, let's start section 6.3, step function. Well, um, this is the main reason why we have to learn the Laplace transform. So like, you know, uh, like we will talk about step function for your right-hand side of your differential equation. So which means like in the uh, differential equation, if your right-hand side is not a continuous function, but it is a finite number to this continuous function, kind of like a step function, then there's no way to solve those kind of differential equation with the previous method, okay? But since Laplace transform is much more general than general method than previous method, that's why we can take care of the step function. This is really useful for um, other engineering problems, okay? So let's talk about step function, okay? Step function definition is really simple. You see, like we're gonna use like UC, C is constant, okay? Any point on the number line. So like UC of T means before the point C, your function value was zero, and after C, it will become a one. Is that okay? So, um, so let me give you the graph of this, okay? The step function means this is T. Okay, there is C, then before C, it was zero and will be one from that point and forever. Is that okay? Well, in this graph, like basically the step function, um, I mean like a unit step function, unit step function is defined like an or real number for your domain, but we are not interested in, in interested in like before zero, because basically when you remember the like definition of Laplace transform, it starts from zero, okay? So negative t value, we don't care about, okay? So we're gonna start from zero, okay? And also, um, that's what I said, oh, it is here. Since the Laplace transform is involved with a t, which is in the uh, non-zero real number, we are only interested about like this value, okay? Before zero, it doesn't matter, okay? But like, you know, this is unit um, step function, but even this unit, but we can make it more general case, okay? If you want to make like your step as not one, but like some arbitrary value k, then we can like this way. y is equal to k times u c t, okay? So which can be drawn like this way. And as you talked about it, like, you know, this side is just zero but some point which is C is empty, but it would be K, okay? This is the like more general case of the uh, uh, step function, okay? So if you want to uh, like, you know, opposite way, which means like, what about this one? Your function Y is equal to K minus U C T, which means it was K, from, but from the point K, you will be down, like, you know, with a one, okay? So which means the graph will be like that. It was K. But at some point, which is C, it will be, can you guess? It will be K minus one, because I'm using just you need step function, okay? But like, you know, if you want to make it like, you know, more down or different amount down, then you can multiply any number in front of your uh, unit step function, okay? This is basic idea of step function, okay? Let me give you a couple of examples, then it might be much easier to understand, okay? Here we go. So what is this one? Like the, like changing point is pi and two pi, right? Before, before pi, it was, it's just zero. So let, oh, oh, before doing like a number 17, let me show you like, you know, like different notation of this, okay? And we can use like a unit step function notation. Also, we can use heavy side function form, okay? Because like, you know, on your uh, online homework, they use heavy side function instead of like, you know, uh, unit step function. But this one can be written by um, H of T minus C. This is the heavy side, uh, function notation, okay? But it is the same meaning, okay? Whenever your C is one and your step start at T equal to one, something like that, okay? So let me move to number 17 again. 
here we go, this one. Okay, pi and two pi, right? Before pi and there's nothing because you, like any number be, before pi, uh, u pi t is equal to zero and u two pi of t also equals zero, which means um, I can write this one as the piecewise defined function, okay? As I told you, your, okay? So let's start from zero because we don't care about before zero. It was zero. When your pi is between pi and two pi, what does that mean? Like any number between pi and two pi, your first one, u pi t will be one, but this guy, u two pi is still zero, and which is one, right? And if your t is greater than or equal to two pi, then this guy is one, also this guy is equal to one, which is one minus one equals zero. Does it make sense? So the graph of this one looks like this way. It was zero until pi. Okay. It was zero and empty, but it would be one at this point. But this point becomes zero again. And this is the graph of this function. Is it okay? So let me give you another, okay? Here we go. This guy. It is the same thing, okay? But like, you know, instead of number, I mean coefficient number, but like we're going to function form, okay? And we'll do the same, okay? Just do step by step, okay? Like there are two points, okay? Two and three. And we're going to think about before two and between two and three and after three, okay? So first one, let me try to write this one as the piecewise defined function, okay? So first one, as I told you, between zero to two, okay? Think about it. Since your t is here, u2 of t is equal to one, and u3 of, oh, no, no, u2 of t equals zero, and u3 of t also equals zero, which means zero times zero minus zero, which is zero. That's it, okay? Well, what about the second case? Between two, two, three. Then, since like your t is bigger than two, and u2 t is equal to one, but u3 t is still equal to zero then you're gonna have like a t minus three only, okay? That's it, okay? And what about third case? When t is greater than three, then u two t is equal to one, and u three t is also equal to one, then we're gonna have like t minus three and minus t minus two as well, and t is gone, and negative three plus two, which is one. That's it, is it okay? Oh, I'm sorry, negative three plus one, which is negative one, right? Then let me, give, let me show you the grip of this one. It is also easy. 0 to 2 and 3, right? So, like 0 to 2 is 0. Okay. And 2 to 3 is um, t minus 3. Okay. So, which means like when x equal to, when t equal 2 is negative 1, when t equal 3, it will be 0. Like that. And then like bigger than three, it's negative one, right? So negative one. This is the graph of uh, like function f of t, okay?